When you throw your curveball, it's all about the spin. So a lot of times when guys throw curveballs, they're focusing more on what's going to happen after the ball leaves their hand than nothing really happens. Focus on what's going on while the ball's in your hand. Because if you get good rotation, you're going to get a good break. You know what I'm saying? So just really concentrate on the spin. Focus on your middle finger. And here's the key. You want to wait until your middle finger is in front of the ball before you start to pull it. If your finger's back here on top and you start to pull it, if I pull from here to here, what's going to happen now? What does the ball have to do right now? What direction does it have to go? Look at my fingers. It's got to go up. And the only pitch out of the only pitch that goes up out of a pitcher's hand is a hanging curveball. So you really want to focus on your middle finger. I used to draw, take a marker, a sharpie, and draw a dot on your guy's finger like that. You just have to focus on throwing like that dot like that. Once your middle finger gets in front of the ball, you want to pull all the way through it. And you want to use your thumb to get over the top of it so you don't hang it. So use your thumb. When you spin it, when you release a curveball, you're only halfway through the pitch. What you do from here to here is going to determine how that ball is going to finish. So the ball can go stop, and the ball can finish strong. If you finish strong back through it, the ball is going to finish strong. So just remember, at the release point, you're only halfway through the pitch. You've got to finish back here. All right? What part of your ball actually creates the spin? What part of your hand actually creates the spin? Your fingers. It's not really your wrist. Your wrist is going to put your fingers in position to create the spin. But it's really your fingers that do the work. So getting your grip strength, getting your fingers strong is going to help you curve it. Right? Arm angle. If you get wide with your arm angle, you come this way. The ball's going here or here. It might go straight, but you have a better chance of going here to here. If you can keep your arm angle tight, you can come down here, release the ball, pull through and finish, and keep your arm angle tight, there's a really good chance your curveball's going to end up somewhere on the plate. Once your, hand, once your hand goes out wide or you start pulling to the side, and you start pulling towards the direction of the break, like if a right-handed hitter's up there, a lot of guys want to pull their body this way. They want to throw the break away from the guy. Where does it end up? It's going way over there. You've got to go forward. Curveball is this. So you want to drive your body forward. Don't pull towards the direction of the break. Right? Head straight. To me, when I saw curveball signs, head straight. Head straight. That's what a lot of guys do. And then once you do this, boom, there goes your hand out to the side. Now you're trying to bring your curveball back from out here. That's how you're going to end up having issues with your elbow. Okay? But if you can keep your body in the direction of your body going towards the glove, and you can keep your arm angle tight and you can pull through it. Look at my elbow. My arms are fully extended? No, it shouldn't. If you start doing stuff like this, that's when your elbow bones back together. That's why when you throw a fastball, your hand does what? What is that called? Pronation. Your hand pronates because it prevents your elbow bones from smashing together. And what happens when you bang your elbow bones together? Huh? Pieces break off. You guys ever hear bone chips? Loose bodies, they're called. You get little pieces of bone that float around there. And then you'll be walking around and you'll go like this, and your elbow will just stick. And you won't be able to straighten it out. It locks up. So, you want to make sure that when you spin it, and you, your hand pronates on the turbo too. You go a board, you spin your hand pronates on the faces. But the key is making sure that your arm angle is tight, and you spin, and you throw the ball forward. You don't your hand going around the ball. You want to spin the ball forward, and you want to go back through. Always keep my arm down, pushing your elbow. It's going to prevent you from having elbows. Right. So, when you play catch, throw it slow. You should be able to throw your curveball. At speed. When I was playing with the Red Sox, there's, I couldn't do that. If there was a catcher 50 feet away, I couldn't just spin my curveball and throw it. If I wasn't throwing it hard, I couldn't throw it. Which is why I didn't have good command of it. Which is why I couldn't throw it 2-0, 2-1, 3-1. I had to throw fastballs. And you know how fast you throw a pro ball. They don't have fastballs coming. So, really focus on keeping everything straight. Focus on your fingers. Focus on that middle finger. When I'm in like St. Joe's, when I coach you, if I call curveballs, you know, I'm just not the guy's a finger. Just to remind them to get the middle finger in front of the ball. That's the key. If you can get that in front of the ball, the break zone is going to be this way. If your finger's on the side, it's going that way. If your finger's back here, it's going to go up. Once you get the hand position right, you can pull through that seam and back through it. Curveball is going to be easy to throw. Okay? But you got to be able to play catch with it at a short distance. You got to be able to spin it and feel the spin. So we're going to play catch with it right now. And just focus on that. Head straight, hand goes towards the target. And the arm angle's got to be tight. And you got to come all the way back through. You guys got that?
All right. Let's go.